Veterans Affairs, West Los Angeles Campus Building 207. Most Angelenos know the West LA Veterans Affairs Historic District by sight, thanks to its location at the traffic-snarled intersection of Wilshire and the 405, punctuated by the Wadsworth Chapel, the oldest standing building on Wilshire. The West LA VA has been a place of support for U.S. veterans for more than a century. In the 1930s, a wave of new construction of standardized care facilities signaled a new chapter for the campus, and by 1949, it housed over 6,000 veterans. By the 2010s, the campus was in a sad state of disrepair due to neglect and underutilization. Meanwhile, every night, some 4,000 U.S. veterans find themselves without a home on the streets of Los Angeles. In response to this crisis, the VA released a bold draft master plan in 2016 to reimagine existing facilities on the campus. The plan is a multi-sector effort to create a vibrant, therapeutic community to serve, heal, and house veterans. More than 20 projects are tied to the plan, including some new construction and adaptive reuse of older buildings, navigating the exhausting legal, financial, and operational ins and outs of the VA's public-private partnership. Built in 1940, Building 207 had been mostly vacant for years. Adapting the underused historic building into modern housing brought numerous challenges. The balance between a major retrofit without compromising historical character was difficult. My name is Parisa Roshan. I'm with Thomas Afrin and Associates. We are the developers responsible for VA Building 207. One of the key challenges with VA Building 207 was assembling the capital stack. We are operating on federal land that is, of course, in the middle of Los Angeles. But, you know, we have city, county, state, federal resources. We have private funding. We have nonprofit funding. Another big challenge we overcame was figuring out how to modernize and retrofit this 80-year-old building that had been left neglected and vacant for so long. How to upgrade it, how to retrofit it without losing a lot of the historical details. Building 207 provides 59 residential units. 13 of which are for seniors. Each unit comes fully furnished, and in addition to modern amenities like fitness stations and TV rooms, communal spaces and healthcare resources are available. One highlight of the finished project is all of the natural light. When you enter from Vandergrift, we created a double height ceiling for the lobby, which is something that we do in a lot of TSA projects. So as soon as you walk in, there's a lot of air, there's a lot of natural light. It's a welcoming, airy, bright space. Um, our founder, Tom Safran, always impressed upon us the importance of building homes that we would want to put our own parents in. And so for us, the most important highlight of the building is that we have veterans walking around, enjoying living, spending time in the building, welcoming their friends and relatives to visit them at the building. That for us is the most rewarding aspect of this entire multi-year process. The restoration of these three buildings may have been two separate projects, but they are solidly under one vision, a commitment to housing LA's veterans community. Buildings 205 and 208 and 207 are a powerful testament to the possibilities of historic preservation. These win-win projects prove that with imagination, passion, and persistence, revitalizing and reusing historic buildings can meet affordable housing goals. And for that, we thank our veterans and these historic buildings for their service and providing a home for those who need it most.